Hello everyone, Model Car Guy Rich here. Today's unboxing is a Revell 1969 Dodge Dart GTS. Uh, this is kit number 7603. And this particular kit came out in 1995. So that is 29 years old. <laughs> yeah, this kit features the high performance compact muscle car war was the top of the line for 1969 Dart series. Unique hood with the two bulges on there. Uh, with the trademark power bulges, features a 383 engine and highly detailed engine compartment. Decals with GTS Bumblebee stripe graphics. Molded in almond, transparent red, and clear with plated parts and black vinyl tires. Well, I can't wait to see that. Here's the, uh, the one side shot. And another side, and there's your uh, Bumblebee Stripe. Very nice. Looks like they're going to be Goodyear tires, according to this. I'll save my eyes from straining to look. Eh? <laughs> nice looking engine compartment there. Let's go ahead and get right into this one. Obviously, I took the shrink wrap off of this one many years ago. Wow. I don't remember this kit at all, other than I knew I had it in, in a box stored away. That's really cool color too. Not as not quite as shiny as the uh, little red wagon it did the other day, but this is pretty cool. I'll go ahead and cut right into it. I'll move you guys back just a little bit. See if that'll help you a little bit. There we go. Hope everyone's having a great day. On the side here, you can see the dump box for the uh, auto car tracker. Still coming along nice. That kit is uh, challenging, we'll just say. Um, the instructions are very reminiscent of the Dodge L71 uh, L Dodge L700, uh, the blue one I did a little while back. This one is uh, turning out to be a, a nice kit. Parts are very well made. Um, nice and sturdy, but again, the instructions are lacking. I'll just put it at, at that. Here we go with the, the uh, Dodge uh, Dart, 69 Dart. This is very nice. Got a nice sheen to it, a little bit of discoloration in the plastic. You probably won't be able to pick it up on camera. A little dirty again. I don't know what's up with these kits being dirty, but it feels wonderful, and it looks great. That's a really sharp looking body. Uh, not much detail underneath, nothing in the back, nothing in the front, uh, 0610 remove, okay, so that's that, got a nice cowl in, um, built right in, okay, that's pretty simple. Next we have the interior uh, floor pan area with the uh, molded in rear seat. Nice. The uh, package tray has got the speakers built in. Very nice. Here's the engine. And just that quick, I forgot what it was. What was it? 383, was it? Man, oh man. Yeah, 383. <laughs> Sorry. Again, it's late at night. It's uh, close to uh, midnight, and I'm down here trying to be quiet, you know. There's the uh, backs of the front seats. Very nice detail on those. Those are really sharp. Here's the front buckets. Nothing on the back there. That's where those will go. With the headrest built in. That's really cool. The backings for the wheels. Um, some little miscellaneous like uh, suspension parts those look like. Some shock absorbers. And this appears to be the uh, steering gearbox. Very nicely detailed on this side. Kind of bland on that side. I guess this will be the side that gets glued to the frame though. So that's that part there. That's very nice. Here's some clear parts just hanging out by themselves. Those would be the tail lights most likely. Yep, these are the tail lights that go this way. So there's a top and a bottom. Once we uh, get to the bumper, I'll show you that. Here's the chassis. Nicely detailed. I don't mind that one at all. It says uh says something. You can see it in there? Yep, I'm not going to focus on you. Where is it? Right in there somewhere. Let's 
right right in this area it says like Ravel Incorporated and then a date but I, I can't read it <laughs> here's your firewall nicely detailed on that too well wow, that's pretty impressive here's radiator core support some uh, oh, some flashing that fell off I'm gonna just go ahead and put that in the pile radiator itself and radiator sh uh, fan shroud Looks like two halves of the brake booster right there. Some little bracket next to it. Some sun visors, those are pretty cool. A battery, kind of a simple looking battery. Um, cross, uh, what do you call it, sway bar. And some shock absorbers back here with nice uh, mounts for the uh, bottom of the leaf springs. That's pretty nice. Nicely detailed kit so far. I'm liking it. Here are the heads and the uh, timing chain cover and uh, water pump. And it looks like the oil filter too. Oil pan, intake manifold, distributor, uh, transmission pan, that's cool, I haven't seen that in a while. Fan belt and pulley system, the whole K-frame member there with the torsion bars, yep. Very uh, distinct for Chrysler. Rear end with the carrier here in the front on this side and then the cover for the back of it on this side so that's a three-piece rear end that's pretty nice leaf springs are built right onto it full exhaust right here very nice with the mufflers and the uh, tailpipe extensions those look sharp when they're chromed out a little or stainless steel whatever exhaust manifold right there here's the other one on this side and that's it for those parts and here's the hood, very nice hood. It says GTS on the front. Interior door uh, panels, very nice de uh, detail. A little bit of flashing, not too bad. Dashboard, with the big old rectangle uh, speedometer there. Top of the dashboard. Steering wheel, steering column, air cleaner. Seven bladed fan, and it, the fan would go that well. No, that's the back of it. Wow, a lot of nice detail on that. And then something here might be uh, well, there's a horn, and this might be the uh, ignition coil. That's very nice. And that's it for molded in almond, they called that. Here's the chrome, absolutely nothing of detail on this side. <laughs> But on the flip side, we get all the goodies. And here is the uh, taillight uh, section with the rear bumper and that. And the, those red lights go up and down here on both sides. Two-piece uh, taillights. And then this is your front bumper and the front grille. Very nice. Little piece of chrome trim right there. Looks like it goes on the hood. Going to need some good cleanup, though. we got them little tabs on there. Over here we got windshield wipers, and I can't make out what these are, they re re reflecting too much. They're handles, I think. Maybe door handles. Can't really tell. Oh, oh no, you know what, those are bumper guards. Yep, those are bumper guards. And here's some uh, side mirrors, a shifter, valve covers, some uh, chrome trim for the bottom of the rockers, I think. Mirrors. And I can't tell what that is. It could be a starter half or the distributor cap with the vacuum advance attached to it. Nice uh, console cover. Very nice. Oh, and here's the wheels. The uh, I think they're GT wheels. I don't remember if that's the correct term for what they called them. Those are nice. Oh, up here is the carburetor and the alternator and alternator bracket it looks like okay not too bad here we have the tires remember they said these were good years and it does say good year right on there right here I don't know if you can focus on that it says it there decent tread definitely gotta clean these up though that's so annoying that little nib right there it's like really you couldn't you, you, made it fine here why is it on that piece you know 
But whatever. Those are the tires. And those are cool. And here we have the decals. It just gives you application instructions on the back. Uh, somebody commented on a, a previous video that if you flip the decals over, the date, the release date is on the back, but I, I haven't seen that yet on here. It's a good tip. Thank you for uh, the viewer who um, commented on that, but uh, so far I haven't seen it. And here, it actually says it on the front, Ravel Monogram 1995, which we knew. Um, black, white, and red of the, uh, they called it a bumblebee, but that really don't look like a bumblebee to me. It just looks like the regular GT uh, stripe. Dart 69, 383 for your air cleaner. Illinois plate. And this looks like, uh, yeah, hold on. <laughs> White Bear Dodge, it says. So it must be a uh, dealer sticker. So that's it for uh, decals. They're decent. Might actually be able to use those on a different uh, model also. Oh, and here on the very bottom was a glass. The plastic, the clear glass, whatever. Uh, windshield washer uh, reservoir there. A couple of side marker lights, headlights. The windshield is hit this one. Goes that way to the windshield. The rear quarter glass, vent windows, and the rear window itself. And that's it for parts and the instructions. All right, one of my favorites. We have a nice write-up on the actual vehicle. I love that. Really bums me out when that's not included in one of the kits. You know, I mean, I, I understand like that uh, Rat Packer that I did a few videos back did not have any write-up on her, but I don't know that that was based on a specific car or if it was just... Uh, AMT's version of just a, a one-off kind of, um, it was a gasser, but maybe it wasn't based on an actual car. You know, they just came up with it and put it out, which is fine. But I love to read about the actual vehicles themselves. So, that's that. It says it in a different language up here. I thought they were calling it a Chevelle, but it's a Eschel, which I guess means scale in another language. Escala, that must be Italian. Here. Here we go. Putting the engine together. Very nice. Talk about painting the carburetor gold. Okay. Some decal applications. Wash the plastic parts, yada yada. Very nice. There's uh, all the final bits going on for the engine. Nice. They give you details on black and steel for the starter. Very detailed. I like that. And that was the coil, that one funny looking little part I saw. Alright. And over here we have the body going together. Putting your core support in, your, I mean, uh, your firewall. I've seen the core support down here. Firewall going in with the uh, pedals attached to the inside of that. Uh, master cylinder, wiper motor. That's cool. That's what that one funny looking part was. I couldn't figure out. I thought it was the uh, distributor with the vacuum advance on it. It's actually the windshield wiper motor. That was cool. Okay, and the distributor is just a little thing there. Very nice. Put your stuff in. Oh, there's a horn in there. I don't remember if I said that or not. Here's your interior. Very simple uh, as far as parts, but a lot of... Uh, um, room. <laughs> Couldn't think of that word, room. A lot of room for detail that you could do here. It even says you can do satin black, aluminum, and chrome. It's very nice de detail uh, options you could have there if you wanted to take the time to do that. Head, oh, the headrests have uh, a piece that attaches to it. I, I don't remember if I've seen that or not. But there you go. That's cool. Two-piece headrest. Nice bucket seats. Very nicely detailed seats. I like those. Here's the battery and the wind washer bottle uh, up there. Here's the steering gear box. Some details omitted for clarity. Well, that's nice. 
uh, putting the uh, three pieces together there, four pieces, whatever. Your horns, your heater hoses, very cool. There. Step five is putting the wheels all on there. And your uh, rear end and all that with the shock absorbers, the drive shaft. Uh, uh, that's good. Rear bumper and tail lights and a license plate is chrome. And those were bumper guards, good to know. Those other little bits. Oh, the, the trim that I thought went on the hood is actually for the rear bumper, it looks like. Okay, that's good to know. I, I didn't. Did, oh, no, no, there's one there too. So I must have missed one. Um, that one there is for the front. Okay. Oh, nice. They got little chrome inserts. Can you see that? You can barely see that. I'm sorry. Hold on. There you go. They have little chrome inserts for the top of the bulges on the hood. That's pretty slick. And they're showing you that the op open space part, which I think is where the engine size goes, goes towards the back. So you don't want to flip that over and put it toward the front. It'll look uh, just off. Your hinges, that's what those little things were. What is this? Striker plate black. Okay. Oh, that's the uh, the hood uh, where it latches down. That's what that is. I was thinking it was an impact thing, but it's where the hood strikes the latch. Okay. And then uh, bumper guards on the bumper. And then that's basically it right there. Put your uh, mirrors on, your windshield wipers. And on the back, we should have, yep, we have decal placement on the back. And it'll call it good. Then there's even more info on the Dart GTS. I love it. Lots of good info on this one, guys. Available in the following colors. We're talking about the actual car, I believe. Light bronze metallic, bright blue. Nice. Nice. But no almond. Isn't that funny? <laughs> there's a cream. That could have been what this is supposed to be, right? Yep. Well, there you go, folks. I appreciate you stopping by. I hope you have a wonderful day. This is uh, still just a blast. I'm, I'm a little tired right now, but uh, other than that, uh, I'm still loving every moment of it. And I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Thank you for stopping by. Model Car Guy Rich out. Keep on modeling.